pictures of unconventional face masks have been circulating social media, amusing a nation that's been told to cover up to protect against the coronavirus if they go outside. Take your favorite jock strap. Take the leg bands, cross them over your head, and secure them beneath your nose. But are any of these DIY PPE options actually effective for combating coronavirus? Everybody on the street, everybody walking around should have some sort of facial covering. The mask is not necessarily intended to protect the person wearing the mask, but to help with the social distancing of people around them so that if some of these particles or aerosolized particles come out, they travel less of a distance to infect less people. People are dealing with what they have, what they have in their houses, what they have the ability to make, what they can dig up and cover their face with. And I think it's not an unreasonable attempt. We asked a doctor to rate some of these makeshift masks on their ability to protect the individual and protect others on a scale of zero to 10, with zero being no mask and 10 being a medical grade N95 mask. We've got this, this Nacho Libre, which looks pretty good to me. I did participate as a uh, WWF ringside physician. So I do know a little bit about the masks. And most of these masks have nylon cutouts. So that area of the nose is probably a nylon cutout. Nylon is very porous. So even the large particles will get through nylon. All right, next we have uh, full-blown scuba gear. Most scuba outfits are neoprene rubber. Uh, it does make it hard to wear out of the water because the water actually cools off your body temperature. If you're walking around in neoprene covering everything, you get hot really quickly. And the snorkel, if he's breathing out the top of that, he's just shooting particles out probably even further uh, than, than anything else. So. This probably protects him to a significant degree. It probably increased the risk of him spreading if, it, if it's really coming out that snorkel. Let's check out this, this lady fox. How do we feel about her? If it's cotton, she'll be able to wear it a fair, fair amount of time and it will provide some protection. So the, if you're gonna look at, at fabrics, 100% cotton is gonna provide the most uh, pre prevention of stuff coming out, particularly if it's folded and you have several layers. The problem with this is if you cough and you sneeze, there's no seal around the nose bridge. So all that stuff can still come out and come out through that eye hole. How does this compare? The wearability is gonna be problematic. These vinyl and plastic masks are hard to wear for any significant period of time. They cause a lot of sweating. Um, so what, what typically happens when you take them off is because you sweat a lot, people immediately touch their face to wipe off the sweat. And if you have the coronavirus on your hands, you increase the likelihood of contracting it because now you just touched your face. That brings us to a thong. How do we feel about this thong? I'm assuming it's cotton. Cotton will be a much better fabric uh, for a thong than let's say a silk. A silk thong ac actually offers very very little protection whatsoever. Things go, it's the same as like a silk scarf. That's probably the least effective of all of the uh, uh, of the fabrics. If it is cotton, as I said, cotton is one of the more effective fibers at blocking the secretions coming out. All right, all right, next. We've, we've got the classic bottle mask. I saw two of these when I went went out. The problem is the seal is like a zero. So if you look around the chin and the neck, you don't get a tight seal. And what happens is you're going to build up vapor in here. And so those vaporized particles are going to get out. Let's move on to the maxi pad. The maxi pad has cotton fibers in it. Again, cotton is one of those surfaces that is least porous and, and will block most of the larger particles and some of the smarter, smaller particles. And the outside of this is plastic. So it will also serve as a barrier of things coming in if there is a seal. So if you're gonna do it, look for a larger one with wings that will cover your nose. Um, and, and if you can, you may wanna tape down the plastic over the bridge of the nose and that, that will uh, give you a better seal. But uh, overall, not a bad choice. Uh, if, you know, they're, they're relatively cheap and they come in boxes of a lot. Uh, and it's not taking away 
you know, the critical PPE for the, the medical uh, teams and the, and the first responders. But also realizing that these don't work without the social distancing and without the hand washing, all right? It, the masks are almost totally ineffective without those other things combined.